Welcome back to episode 10 of Conker's Bad Fur Day. I think I'm starting to get a little giddy. <laughs> We've been doing this for... 10 episodes. Oh, yeah, 10 episodes. Uh, you were talking about... A, partnerships. A, a partnership. We'll talk about partnerships in the last episode. We're trying... We're pretty much, again, starting this exactly from... We're trying to belt out as many episodes as you can this day. Because, again, spoiler alert. We, we do these in succession. I'll tell you what, I'll do some belting out in a second. <laughs> okay. And I... That sort of... Oh, that kind of belting out. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know if the microphone heard that. Oh, uh, well, fine. Why is everything... Hooey. Oh, okay. Um, so Wait, yeah, so the, the, the only two things I know of this game happen right at the start? Is that right? Pretty much. Jesus Christ. So There's a lot of cool stuff in it. No, that, you're going the right way. Oh, I was? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you're talking about a big partnership, what, you, what your idea was, and I was being a cunt about it. Uh, so... Crystal Dynamics and um, Sony. So Crystal Dy 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 Dynamics. Remind yep. me what they've done. Uh, Tomb Raider. Oh, okay. Yep. You so see where I'm going Raiders. with this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, got, I think I know where you're going with this. Tomb Raider and... Um, and... Um, um, where do you get the gas mask from? You just had it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, do I go through the door? Yep. Uh, Tomb Raider and Uncharted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Together. Well, they kind of... They are very similar. I've never played an Uncharted game, but I've heard that it's very Tomb Raider-esque. Well, yeah, like, two... I, what are you I really, really, really enjoyed the Uncharted series. Because uh, I'm an Xbox fanboy. Not afraid to say that. I have a PlayStation. I've had all PlayStations so far, but I never tend to keep it. I've still got my PS2 somewhere. Um, I skipped PlayStation 3. Yeah, no, the, I mean, either. the PS3 were, had a few really good games on them, like your Infamous series, your Uncharted series, etc., etc. And they, those were games I really enjoyed, but most of the games that most people play were multi-platform these days, like mm. your Call of Duties and... Yes. Assassin's Creed. <laughs> <laughs> the, the games that get annual releases. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll get into that in a sec. Um, so Uncharted was very... is very... Tomb Raider-esque and the way that they've really done the Tomb Raider is very similar to what they've done with the Uncharted series. So they're very... like what, they rebooted it? Well, yeah, kind of. They rebooted Uncharted? Well, they they re-released uh, 1 through 3 oh, as a remake. It. Yeah, that's a remake, not a reboot. A reboot's a reimagining. Yeah, good point. Anyway. Like the new Tomb Raider. How, like, the, the, like, I never played, like, I played a little bit of the, the original Tomb Raider games. See, I never did. I played a little bit. Not, like, not, not enough to finish any of them. Yeah, because the controls in them were fucking horrible. Sorry, but they were. Those were the days when they were trying to yeah. figure out how to control 3D. Yeah, 3D is like, oh my god, what do we do? We've got to move on a fucking third dimension. Mm. Anyway, uh, the new Tomb Raider series, that first Tomb Raider game in that series, yeah, the only one that's actually out at the moment, fucking fantastic. Mm -hmm. Have you? Did you get it for free on the Xbox Live Gold? No. You should, oh right, you bought it, didn't you? I already had it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I bought the definitive edition for Xbox, anyway. but that was that was my first experience playing, it, and it was fucking amazing. Yeah, for a game that where like ninety percent of the game is watch Lara Croft get nearly raped and nearly killed. Ninety percent of the game, <laughs> good game. So your con your concept? Well, just to have them two in a game together. Very, I don't know much about the story of the Uncharted series, but to have a game where they're working together. Like, same universe. Yeah, in right. the same universe. Well, I'm not even sure that they've even said that they're in a different universe. I mean, it's a possibility that well, they might even be in the same universe. Well, they're two different game companies. They really wouldn't be in the same universe, you'd, you'd think. Yeah. But with your... They've never stated that they're not. They've never acknowledged each other at all, have they? Well, it's the same as bloody Marvel and DC. No, they're not in the same universe. They have been in a couple of comics. But they've worked together? Yep. Who got the money out of that? Probably Fuck shared if it. I know. They probably shared it. Probably Marvel got 6% of the share and DC got 40 Speaking of Marvel, you hear Stan Lee had a comment about why the Fantastic Four movie flopped? I did read that because he did not have a cameo in it. Is it the first ever Marvel movie that's been made where he hasn't made a cameo? I can't think of any other ones. X-Men? No, I'm pretty sure he's been in X-Men. Oh, I, I know he was in a couple of the Wolverine ones. He was in the library doing something. Oh, okay. With headphones on, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Um... Or is that Spider-Man? Either way, I'm pretty sure he appears in the X-Men series. I'm pretty sure. I would assume that the ones that aren't actually Marvel Studios movies would be ones that he's not... So, like, Spider-Man. Well, that's funny, because I'm pretty sure he's in the Spider-Mans that are done by Sony. Or well, maybe. 
like the new Spider-Man. Yeah, I'm the, pretty sure he was amazing in it. Sp- no, the uh, in the Ultimate Spider-Man, the one, the the shitty one that people say is shit. Like it was okay. The Tobey Maguire one. No, no, the... no. You're talking about Andrew Garfield. Yeah, that, yeah. So you're talking about Amazing Spider-Man. Is it amazing? Yeah. It's called the Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, but it's the Ultimate Spider-Man. That's another thing. Uh, yeah, no, but like the actual movie. Yeah, the movie's called Amazing Spider-Man, yeah. which is something I, I have gripes with, but. <laughs> Luckily, you're in shit and you don't die every time you do that. You just have to continue to keep going. Did that send me up? Yeah. Funny, huh? Doesn't make sense, does it? No, not at <laughs> all. You're looking into um, the logic in a video game where there's literally going to be a shit monster. That's a pretty shitty situation. Ah! <laughs> Thank you, I'll be here all week. <laughs> no, you fucking won't be. <laughs> not yet, anyway. Um... Oh no! What was I saying? I've completely something about di- Spider-Man and not liking it. Yeah. Well, no, I didn't say I didn't like it. It was okay. It had its moments. You had gripes with it. I had gripes with it because it's are they called the Amazing Spider-Man, but it's the Ultimate Spider-Man universe. In the Ultimate Spider-Man universe, oh, I'm probably fucking wrong here again. I'm pretty sure. Oh no! I'm only relatively new to the comic book scene. I never grew up with them. It's only got probably been the last four years that I really got into that sort of thing. Mm. I was more of a gamer, and I watched a lot of cartoons. I didn't watch... So when I watched Spider-Man and Batman and all that sort of shit on the cartoons, I didn't know much about the Marvel and the DC universe. So I'm relatively new, and I'm sure someone will make it. But I'm pretty sure the Amazing Spider-Man, the Andrew Garfield one, was the Ultimate Spider-Man universe, because in the Ultimate Spider-Man universe, he doesn't actually get the web slings in his wrists. He actually makes a device for him, and that's why a lot of the times he can't web sling, because they break, or they malfunction. But that happened in the the Tobey Maguire one. Yeah, but that was only because he... He lost his powers. He, well, didn't he... Yeah. The power of belief or something like that bullshit. You know, just like in um, Harry Potter, where his mother protect him with the power of love. Oh, for fuck's sake. Apparently the power of love was the thing that saved... And that's the power of um, love. Harry Potter from dying. Really? <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure that was established. How stupid is that? Well, that's canon that, that love Pretty is sure. A... Well, it's the same thing. Voldemort. Apparently, we've been saying it wrong for the last decade. For fuck's sake, look at the cameras. Like, even JK... On, go <laughs> JK Rowling fucking... has been has has been quoted to say it was Voldemort. Voldemort. Like, the T is silent. I, I prefer it that way. Oh, for fuck's sake. But how... <laughs> there's got to be an easier way to do yeah, it. Yeah, no, too. there's got to be. Are you going to tell me, or...? Well, I'm sort of in the middle of something right now. Yeah, I'm in the I middle of hold, something. I'm hold. in the middle of a shitstorm. All right, let's have a look. Have a look around. I am. Maybe Drop I'm supposed to go on that. Book. <laughs> well, fuck me and call me Ronda. Actually, speaking of which, did you read that? Ronda Rousey apparently um, likes to have sex as much as she can before she has a UFC fight. Have you heard that a lot of trainers in boxing say that you're not supposed to have sex because it pents you up and gets you aggressive? Cause wouldn't that wouldn't that be a perfect reason to do it? Not really. Why would you go? Oh, because you're clear-minded. No, but if you're getting aggressive, mm. right? You want to be aggressive for a fight. Yeah. So if you're having sex, it's going to get you aggressive. How? Is that not what you said? No. What I said was was well, after you have sex, are you aggressive? Oh, you mean it releases that? Releases well, that is... the aggressiveness. Oh, well, that's you're, not what you're you said. not pent up anymore. But the best thing to probably do if you're about to have a fight but this is coming from like obviously boxing talking about men right yep so what happens when a guy has sex we fall asleep but 99% of the time a guy is going to finish sex satisfied touche ah I see so when a woman has sex Uh, is she always satisfied absolutely not (laughs) try now hang on I'm going to wait for the shit storm (laughs) But that's probably where Ronda Rousey gets it from. She's tr- probably like, well, I know I'm not going to be satisfied. <laughs> so, <laughs> I could feel the anger. We won't end this episode until oh, you get up there. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Got to go around the camera. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's an easier way to... I don't even think you're supposed to go that way, to be honest. Oh, for fuck's sake. I think you're actually only supposed to go on that way. <laughs> Nobody's telling me. Well, you got to figure this shit out for you. Uh, get it? Shit out for yourself? You're a punny cunt. One day you're going to wake up with two black eyes and a ball sack in your mouth. Hey, what about me? And that's going to be totally related. <laughs> Wait, how? 
because I'm going to smack you in the face with my ball sack and give you two black eyes. But why, how would the balls be in my mouth? Well, because I'm going to put them in my mouth. So I'm pretty sure you're supposed Your to have that shit lagoon, like the shit. Shit lagoon? The, uh, the waterfall, shitfall. You go up the waterfall. Like you go inside the shitty waterfall. Oh, okay. This, this, like, oh, I can't you I go see. in there instead. Said the blind man to his deaf son. <laughs> One fine day in the middle of the night, two dead men got up to fight. Back to back, they faced each other, drew their sword, swords, swords, and shot each other. What? <laughs> is this like? Is that like? You've never Romeo, heard that before. Is that like Romeo and Juliet? You've never heard that before? No. There you go. Oh yeah, fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> fucking fantastic! There we go. So fucking you got there, dude. Jesus. This game's camera controls are fucking horrible. Righty yo. So did you want to? We'll end this episode here. All right. We'll fucking watch what this cunt has to say. Oh, it's a bull. Prune juice. All right. right don't see any poo here. Oh, hey. Uh, excuse me. Hello. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah, you. Uh, ugly, friendly so what, type. So uh, oh, uh, I'm uh, looking for, for some, some poo. poo. It's fucking just... everywhere. <laughs> Have yeah. you seen? Like, it's, yeah. it's literally everywhere. It's, yeah, there's shit everywhere. Oh, uh, no, it's not red. It's... Well, he is a red squirrel. Yeah, Have you ever seen a red squirrel? Yeah, but they're colorblind. Are bulls colorblind? Yeah, they, they, they don't go by the red. They go by the movement of the towel. Is that just like a myth or something? Like, they're actually... Yeah. I wasn't aware of that. They're, they're not actually worried about the red, they're worried about the, the, the cunt wave and the fucking towel. Well, it's the same as dogs, they're not 100% colorblind, are they? But they can look up. <laughs> and on that note, thanks for watching episode 10. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, uh, share it with your friends, like us on Facebook and Twitter. <sighs> don't fall asleep, please. We're not, we're not that boring, I swear to God. Not yet, anyway, so... We try to be funny. Try. We try. Try being the operative word there. Thank you. Boy. Fucking this side of my back just went really stiff. I got I took a Viagra, got stuck in my throat. I've had a stiff neck for hours. <laughs> ah, thank you. <laughs>